How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to this money making guide. So quickly I'm going to flash the requirements up on the screen. There aren't too too many but you need to have them done to do this method effectively. Uh, now the method is going to be Avianzi. So these are located in the God Wars dungeon so the first thing you're going to need is a way to get there. So I'm going to be using Trollheim tablets but you can get there pretty much whatever way you like. And while I run there and show you guys how to get there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about some sort of essential things you need. And I know some of these may have flashed up on the screen but I'll talk about them anyways. Um, I still have a pack yak, that's awkward. One second. Okay, sorry about that. The yak is about to be deceased. It was just full of bruising things, so let's kill the yak. There we go, and we're good to go. So, once you get up to the God Wars dungeon, you're gonna get to God Wars. I'm assuming that you probably know how, but I'm gonna show you anyway, because I've got some things to talk about. Uh, so first off, the most important thing is you're gonna need some protection from Armadil, um, and the Armadil factions. So basically, anything that says Armadil in the name works. Also, any piece of Nex equipment works, and my personal favorite recommendation, uh, recommendation is the Shard of Zero. So this is a reward from the Fate of the Gods quest, and this actually gives you immunity from every single monster in the God Wars dungeon. Uh, so it's actually even better than having Armadil protection, because there are also some Zamorak followers wh where you'll be killing the Avianzis. Uh, so yeah, um, other requirements have been on the screen, but basically... You get to God Wars and you're killing Aviances. You can either do these on EOC or Legacy. I'm going to be doing them on Legacy for the sake of this guide. It's probably slightly more efficient to do it on EOC with abilities. Uh, and the only reason I say that is because you can heal a little better. Uh, but yeah, in my invent you'll see I've got a Bone Crusher. I'm also wearing a Demon Horn Necklace. That just saves up on prayer. That means I'll be able to pray sort of boost, boosting prayers the entire time. Um, but if you don't have that, don't worry. It is not even close to necessary uh, for this method. Okay, so once you enter the God Wars dungeon, you're going to run south to the Armadil's Iron. Um, and then, yeah, it's pretty simple. So, as I was saying, you don't need the Bone Crusher at all with the with the, um, with the the necklace. It just helps save on prayer, which is quite helpful. But you don't actually need to boost your prayer. Use prayer if you don't want to. It just speeds up kills considerably. It'll help you make a little more profit. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to cross this chasm. You need level 70 range to do this. Um, so... Once you've crossed there, you're basically where you're going to be for the guide. So you're going to want to be in a world that spawns quickly, so a world with a high population. And yeah, what's in your invent? You can have some defensive potions. You're going to want some offensive potions to help speed up your kills. Uh, prayer renewals, prayer potions if you want to be praying. Um, other than that, bunyip pouch, any sort of healing familiar is good. A pack yak's good. But the great thing about this is the drops are actually stackable. Um, and I've actually heard of some people, a, a friend of mine actually did this, he camped here from level 70 to level 99 range without leaving once, and then he ended up with several hundred mil profit by the end, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah. So in terms of healing, how you're going to be healing is if you have souls, but oops, I took that off for a second. That's So I took it off for a second, and then everyone went aggressive on me, um, and I'm going to die. Um, but basically, oh, that was a max hit. Basically, what you're doing, I'm still under attack. This is so so awkward for me. Um, so basically what you're doing is you're killing these, and if you don't have so something like Soul Split to heal you additionally, um, what you want to bring is you want to bring Bones to Peaches tablets. So Bones to Peaches tablets, basically they turn all the bones in your invent into peaches. So what you can do is without the Bone Crusher, these drop bones every single kill. So you can take those bones and you can turn them into peaches, eat the peaches, and you are good to stay for as long as you please. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some some potting up, some defensive potting up. I got kind of wrecked there because they were all on me. Um, you're gonna want to use something like a boosting range boosting prayer if you've got the necklace, but if not, don't worry about it. And something like Soul Split will help you heal up when your hit points are low, like mine are right now. And yeah, let's start the five minute timer. Okay, guys, so five minutes has expired, and I managed to make about 107k. Uh, now quickly, I know you see my prayer renewal has ended, and you think that means five minutes, right? All the way up there uh, but I actually have to log out and when you log out your prayer renewal timer continues to tick down so I logged out and then I logged in and then it wore off I made 107k in five minutes which is pretty good uh, now usually you should average a lot more my usual average here is I usually get about 0 0.8 addy bars per uh, per uh, kill so with 50 kill count you I usually get about 45 addy bars or 40 actually 40 addy bars uh, so I did a little worse than I usually would, but it's still, it's 100k, which actually turns into about 1.3 mil in an hour, almost exactly. Let me just, let me just no, it's one point, it's, yeah, you make about 1.3 mil an hour exactly. Now, if you do this on EOC, you'll make it a lot more consistently, and it's a lot better. 
I was two hitting a lot of these, but a lot of the time it would take like six or seven hits, which was kind of annoying and kind of slow. So I'd, I'd recommend doing this on EOC with abilities or even with revolution. I feel like it would be a little better, but it is up to you, I guess. And yeah, I am killing Arma once. I just want to see if I can go. I don't have any food though. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. Get close to where I need to go to Tabo. Yeah, while I outro the video, I'll try and kill Arma, but I don't think it's gonna happen because without abilities, it's hard to do bosses like this. But anyway, guys, hopefully you found this money-making method helpful. I've done a shit ton of it in my time, and I find I found it extremely helpful and useful. So hopefully you guys can too. One of my favorite all-time money-making methods, just because it has fairly low requirements, just 70 range and requirements to get into God Wars, and you can camp forever with the Bones to Peaches tabs. But yeah, hopefully I get this kill. We're actually, we're doing work. I think we might be okay. It's going to be close. I also don't have prayer. I'm going to run out of prayer. Yeah, this is kind of the, uh, imagine if, 5, 8, that's a nice max hit. Imagine if I got like an armor chest plate. It's like, the real money making happens here. That's where you make the real money. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Shit. Drats! I was hitting so well and it was perfect, but no, no longer. Uh, but yeah, while I do this, the other thing I didn't mention, what you can do for healing, if you've got an enhanced Excalibur, you can bring that as well, and it'll help you with the heals quite a bit. Uh, but the problem is you can't attack them while you heal up. So basically, when you get somewhat low hit points, you can equip it, you can use it, it'll heal you up quite a bit. It'll heal you about 400 life points, you can do it every 5 minutes. Maybe I will. <laughs> it's gonna be so close. Uh, I don't wanna die. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck it, I'm done. Oh, he's done! Oh! What's the drop? Oh, coins. Oh, fuck, Telly! Telly! <laughs> um, I'm definitely beeping that out. That was pretty epic. Void armor kill with minimal food and a bunny up. Uh, but anyway, guys, that that's totally unrelated. The related part, uh, avianzies are great money. You can camp there for a very long time. Lots of fun. I'd recommend doing them with Revolution on EOC over Legacy, but if you adamantly prefer Legacy, you can do that as well. Um, anything more than, I'd say, a rune, a rune crossbow are better, and you should be fine to take them out. They're only, like, level 90, well, actually level 89 to 97, so you should be fine to kill them. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that little, um, this little guide. Hopefully you find it helpful. I know a lot of people already know this method, but to those of you who don't, it's pretty good. So anyway, guys, have a good one, and peace.